Good day, YouTube. Today is a Saturday, October 7th, 2017. Getting to a project I have been wanting to get done before winter. So I just uh, took today to make it happen. Um, these uh, wheels are from my uh, 1977 Ward's Gilson 16 horse garden tractor. And I had bought a pair of these at a swap meet somewhere for like 50 bucks um and i wanted i had actually put them on the other day but i uh, needed to paint them and i'm going with the caterpillar theme because i had some paint and uh i ordered a pair of severe traction tires for the winter because i have the uh snow blade or dozer blade for the front and i picked up a set of wheel weights so it was, and the wheel weights were horrible and they were red. I actually uh, did some body work on this. I filled in some big old holes with some Bondo and painted over it. And uh looks much better. Uh, I don't, it almost looks like somebody had actually tried to patch that or something. Anyway, so I just thought I'd do a quick video and just show you how I I'm, paint these wheels. This is not a show tractor. It just needed to be a little prettier than it was. And uh, so I pulled the fronts and I uh, got the rears and I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the severe traction tires because winter's coming. Not that we get a bunch of snow here, but it will be fun to push some snow and uh, get the wheel weights all mounted up. So the time is now to get them all painted. And I just thought I'd show you how I do it real quick. Um, so first of all, that uh, little, that, that's that zinc strip, that two inch wide zinc strip comes on a roll you put on your roof and I use it for electroplating as well so I had a roll and I said I make my little paint shields out of I did one the other day oh here it is on the John Deere for uh, six inch wheels I've got that one made for 12 inch wheels and I'll just keep these and uh, that one is for eight inch wheels so I just cut the zinc strip and I just tape it together you set it on the tire and you know nice and tight around the wheel and then make it fit and if you're painting wheels with the tires on them that's a good way to go we'll set that on the shelf there so what i've got for paint this came from a job that i had done and uh it came actually right straight from caterpillar um i had them get me a gallon of paint i was painting some stuff that went on three big caterpillar generators and they gave me a whole gallon of paint i used it for what i needed and i brought the rest home it's been kind of sitting around that's when i thought i need to paint the gilson tractor couldn't decide on what color then i saw this gallon of paint laying around and it just clicked let's do it in caterpillar what the heck it would be fun so that's what we're doing that's what i'm using i just thinned it with the mineral spirits and uh shooting it with a little detail gun so the way i'm doing this again we're not talking show quality here we're talking putting some paint on them so they don't rust and make it look presentable i want to put you up in a stand so i can grab the spray gun so what i do is just do the back first um you're not really going to see it but at least it'll be uh same color and then flip it over and do the other side and we'll just do it real quick and be done now I've got real good ventilation I'm sort of really doing this outside right in the doorway actually so uh, I am not wearing my protective uh, respirator the little detail guns really work good though I've been painting wheels since I was like 10 years old, so... We used to race cars, so this was a like a almost every week kind of deal, so... And we had made these little uh, spray guards 
for 15 inch racing wheels way back in the day. Just a quick couple of coats, nothing crazy. Keep them from rusting. Just the inside of the wheel. They're done. And now we'll just flip it over and do the other side. The tire's wider than the wheel, so it's not going to sit on the painted part. So all we got to do is pop this off. Flip it over. Put it back down. A little tricky. Or did this one cooperate for me? Almost. There it is. Ooh. And then we'll do the other side. It's going to take more time to clean the paint gun than anything. Got the tire, little lacquer thinner, 